I got Wyatt here with me this morning. And there was something really, really cool that happened this morning, huh, Wyatt? Yeah. What was it? One of the roosters were crowing. Yeah. We don't know which one. I think it was Fred. Frank? Yeah, Frank. 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 So one of these guys, for the first time, guys. We're crowing. Yep, yeah, we heard a rooster crowing this morning. And I ran out here to come see who it was. Huh, Wyatt? We all went out there and we couldn't figure it out. Yeah. Because whoever it was was hiding in the coop. Now look, fighting already. See that? If I fight up a female. Mm -hmm. They're something. trying to figure out who's boss. And so one of them is crowing already, so I think he's going to be head rooster. Whoever that may be. Oh, huh, what? Yeah. we got to figure it out. Look. <laughs> fighting with each other. They're probably fighting with a female. <laughs> probably fighting huh? over a hand or something. Yeah, well, I think they're what they're doing is trying to figure out who's the boss. Who's the boss? <laughs> so now that they're already starting to crow, at least one of them is, um, pretty soon I think we're going to have to separate these guys because I don't want them to kill each other and I don't want them to hurt the hens. But we got to figure out who's the head cheese, who the head boss in charge is. So how do you like taking care of chickens, Wyatt? I like it. Yeah, is it a lot more... Is it a lot more work My than you thought? My chicken's right there. Hmm? The one I named. The white one down there? not showing his head. Her head, actually. So is it a lot more work? A lot more. But than you thought? It's five weeks. I'm, I'm a, ah, what is it? Five dollars a week. Oh, yeah. He's proud because he gets paid a paycheck now. If he does all his chores, he gets paid. But if he doesn't do his chores, then he doesn't get paid. Yay. Because that's how the real life is, guys. You go to work and you get paid. Lucky's feather. Have to work for your money. Good morning, everyone. So as you guys can tell, I'm out here in the garden this morning. Uh, we had a pretty big rainstorm come through here this morning, and it was pouring and thunder and lightning. It was crazy, but now the weather is cleared up. The sun's out. Birds are chirping. It's a good morning. Just want to give a little update as far as what's going on in the garden this last few days. It's been pretty crazy it seems like things are growing really fast out here check out my onion here we planted this onion this was a store-bought onion and it started growing and it is like taking off I mean I got a little seed pod on this onion and uh, the stalks on this thing is so thick I mean I have not done anything with it I haven't uh, cut any of these off and put them on like a baked potato or nothing but I'm just so impressed with this store-bought onion. It's crazy <laughs> that it's growing so fast. So I started moving these pallets over here. And of course it started to rain when I started doing that. So, cause over here on this side, hidden away from view for the most part, I'm gonna put that IBC tote over here. And I'm gonna try to do some catchment off of the coop to fill it up with water. And if I need to, I'll bring a hose over here and fill it up like once a month or whatever. Wait, and Dad. I'm going to pipe that into here so we don't have to take the water from way over there. And I can just easily come over here and have like a watering trough kind of set up for these guys. Haven't decided exactly how I'm going to do it yet, but it'll make it a lot easier. How are you going to separate the chicken because we have one big coop? Well, I was thinking we'd build it another smaller one over here with we have the fencing still and you know how jeff has his chicken coops mm -hmm. and they're kind of like rounded yeah i think we can build one out of that and we can make it just for the roosters that we don't need in here huh bud nope all right Mm-hmm. that's that's frank frank yep that's frank that's mr frank another exciting thing that is going on in the garden is I actually have uh, flowers and uh, stuff growing. Check out my uh, cucumbers, look at those. Uh, there's all kinds of flowers. My garden beds are just uh, overfilled with water because of the rain this morning, but I got all kinds, like that one over there has got some flowers on it. And these ones over here have all kinds of flowers on them. And they're just, look how big they've gotten. They've gotten so big since 
uh, what, a Friday, I think it was, last garden update I did. It's crazy. Look at my zucchinis. They're really growing. I don't have no flowers yet, but I'm sure they are coming. And then the tomatoes that uh, I planted from uh, Possum Run Homestead, they are growing too. Look at this one. This one's got a nice thick stalk on it. And I uh, got like that one over there has got a pretty thick stalk. I did lose one of them right here. It's got a little thing still sticking out of it, but no more leaves. I don't know what happened to it. I came out and it was gone. Kind of like this one. I think I'm gonna lose this one too. Maybe with the sun coming out today, it'll dry up and perk back up. I'm not sure. So we did our chores for today, fed the chickens. True. Um, of course, this morning we woke up to thunder and raining and it was crazy. It was shaking the whole trailer. Yep. Everything was going nuts. Wait, they, they, you guys were asleep, but it was a long one. Yeah, it was really long. So I asked for Wyatt's help today. I wanted Wyatt to put forth some of his sweat into building some of this house. And so I'm gonna have him help a little bit today on this plumbing. We don't have that much more left to do because there's really not much to do on this anyway. We got both toilets plumbed. Nothing is uh, glued or nothing yet, guys. I did change how the stub out is a little tiny bit. Let me show you guys that. So I have it like this now. I did have, I did have this piece like this instead of just the elbow. So I had it stubbed out like this too for the clean out. But after talking, I talked to Gary and picking everybody's brain and doing some more research and different things. There's gonna be a stub out right here on the ground where the septic line is gonna be. So there's real no need to have a stub out there and right here, like in both spots. Because this stub out, I'll be able to go up through this uh, elbow right here and go up into the toilet or down the toilet now. Plus this stub out will go to where the septic's gonna be out. So instead of a sanitary T on the bottom, I just put an elbow and we still have the other drain for Wyatt's shower that goes right in there too. I am just so pleased with how everything is growing out here. It is insane. It's insane. I mean, you guys can see. Everything's sticking out above the garden beds. Man, awesome. My watermelons too. I mean, they're really taking off. They got the vines growing out of them now. This one got a little swamped I think from the rain this morning but growing so fast and so big <laughs> and last but not least as far as garden updates my blueberries are just they're changing colors uh, I do have some here that are ready from time to time like this one right here I probably could pick this one off right here and eat it mm -mm -mm. Mm, so good guys mm. Mm, look at this one Another blueberry. Mmm. There's no better feeling in the world than coming out to your garden, picking stuff off, and just eating it. So good. So good. Do you know that there's blueberries over there? Yeah. Were you gonna go get one for Mama? Mm -hmm. Do you get your first blueberry you're gonna eat? I've had two already. You've had two already? I didn't know that. That's why you, they've been disappearing off that bush. You've been getting over there. Hey. You've been going over there and picking them and eating them, huh? <laughs> no. Uh-huh. Remember last time Mama went in there in the game shed? I know, and gave you one? Yeah, I gave me one. All right, that well, was the first. Well, go ahead if you want to go grab one before we start working. I will. I guess Wyatt knew I was over here eating some blueberries. Go ahead, bud. Pick one. Mmm. what you think? Awesome. Some good blueberries? Maybe it had some on this one. Oh yeah, I picked some off. There's one right here that's not quite ready, but it will be soon. That other one's got more that are ready than this one does. But that's okay. So, Good stuff, huh, show bud? Show me the garden. <laughs> oh, you want to see the garden? Look how much it's grown. Look at it. It's got vines on it now, sticking out. See all that? Isn't that cool? Pretty crazy, huh? 
It's like it grew overnight. I feel like it was not like this this morning. What's that, Ben? This is uh, zucchinis and cucumbers on the other side. Let's go explore with these peppers. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's... We got tomatoes in here. Yep, tomatoes are growing good. Look, these are some seeds that I threw in here a little while ago before I transplanted these ones, and uh, they're growing. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave them be. Oh, this one got enough water. <laughs> yeah, some things got a little saturated today because of the rain this morning, but that's okay. Well, that can get more water than mm. it needs. Well, yeah. It's a good thing I did not water this morning <laughs> or last night. <laughs> so while Watt's grabbing his blueberry, for the tote, for the watering over here for these chickens, um, I know they have like little cups you can get and they can like drink out of little cups and different things. But I think I'm going to take either a three inch or a four inch PVC pipe and cut it in half and make like a trough that you can come over here and fill up and make it low enough so they can all get into it. And you're gonna have to clean that pretty much every day, right? But there's reasoning for that. I want Wyatt to have chores to do. If I make everything super automated and super easy where you just press a button kind of a thing, right? In the long run, yeah, it's a lot easier, it's less headache, but while he's seven, he needs chores to do around here. And so I think that would be a good chore for him to every morning when he lets the chickens out, feeds them, cleans the water trough out and then fills it back up with water and then throughout the day going and checking and make sure they still have water so it'll give him something to do um and won't be just pressing a button kind of a thing all right so why look at this is your shower drain out here bud no i was looking inside and i saw it yeah so <laughs> well we have to tee it off so it looks like a t yeah. We have to tee it off. Tea. So we have a vent for your shower. It's a vent. Where water comes in, or uh, air comes in. Oh, why is it a vent? Well, because so you can get air. Air can come in and you can, it will drain easy. And Here, go over there, hold that tape measure on that board over there for me. See that? Yeah. Hold it there for me, okay? So I can get a rough estimate. What is that? 32. Okay, 32. Alright, bud. Can you go cut me? Uh, let's see. I need 32 and a half. We'll probably have to cut it down again. But to be on the safe side, 32 and a half, and then a 3 inch coupler piece. So like 32, like cut one at 36 and then cut me three inches off of it. Bring you both, please. 36, 32 and a half and then three inches. Yep. So under these sheds, it's kind of hard to do the <clears throat> the drain venting. Cause you don't have really a lot of room to work with. <laughs> you know, I gotta go way over here and bring it in and connect it all. I mean, it's, I guess it's just like a regular house. I'm gonna be working in the concrete and uh, crawl spaces and stuff, but hopefully we're doing this right. Hey. Oh, what? Yes. You know that's your shower. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. Who in the shower? These are three inches? Yeah. Smaller than that.
smaller. The, that might need to be like a two inch. A bit. Make sure we get through that. Measure why it's shower drain. Sixteen inches. fun part again. Of course my battery dies. Wyatt, go get me my other battery. One more real quick, but it's over on the deck by the stereo. Here. Wyatt's being a big helper today. Go get me the other one for me, please. Okay. <sighs> Drilling holes for vents. Yeah, I'm telling you, you can. There's the okay. rim joist right there. Alrighty. Alright, try that. Here, I can get it. Alright. That's good. It's good? Yeah. You got a two inch pipe up there that you can maybe stick? Uh, no, but we can use the other one. Get <sighs> my battery on my drill overheated the other one. I'm trying to drill through those. It's just two two by fours and a little bit of sub four. But it was getting cooked. I was not liking it. And that's a, a 20 volt a cordless too, so it should be able to handle it pretty easy, but it's having problems. You got it? Mm -hmm. How much needs to be come off? I have a tape measure behind you. Yep. Yeah, right there. Leave me a little a little bit of slack. Like when you push it in, you don't want it butted up too too much. Let me see. Let me top. Uh, let's see. Cut it down. You said a little bit. Just a little bit leave. Um cut like an inch off of it. An inch? Yeah. Right. That was rough. <laughs> but we got it in there. It fits. It's a good fit. Of course, I'm gonna make sure everything else is tight. But it looks good. It looks good. Okay, moving on to Wyatt's sink, guys. And then after that, Wyatt's bathroom is done. It's exciting stuff happening right now. <laughs> As you guys can tell, our help has left for the day. <laughs> it's too much for Wyatt. Hey, he, he did a good job. He was out here for an hour. Yeah, yeah, he hung out. I mean, hanging out with us, but every five minutes he had to tell us how he was bored. Yeah, yeah. I I'm guess bored. I guess plumbing is not his forte of fun <laughs> hey it's not mine either all right because yeah. i'll tell you right now once this is done i don't even want to see pvc pipe for a little bit yeah yeah i don't even i don't even want to talk about running downhill well no and like doing the work and figuring it out at the same time is that's what gets me it's the brain work that you have to have all day yeah like thinking of stuff and hoping you don't mess something up yeah it's the it's the mental strain and the physical strain, because it's the in, out, in, out, in, out. Ugh. Gets rough. But we're almost to the point where we can say, I think we're good. Wyatt's bathroom sink, our kitchen sink to still do, and our bathroom. Other than, uh, just the shower. Just the shower. And the sink's already done, too. We did do the sink down there. So we just have the shower to do, our kitchen sink, and why it sink. That's it. Okay.
Yeah, a little piece needs to go, but I think you'll be okay. Of course, it has to, <laughs> I'm saying of course, it has to be right there on top of that knot. There it is. Yep, there it is. Now we gotta connect the, are you taking it out? You taking it out? Oh. So hard to move around in here. Do it on this side. This one. You know what I was thinking? Huh. Be sure to like this video, and if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. It helps us out big time, guys. But we gotta get back to work. Well, I think we got a good system too figured out for uh, the sink. Why it's sink? Anthony's got it marked right here as far as where this pipe needs to be cut. This is kind of a nerve-wracking part. Especially, well, we have an extra three inch if we had to. Well, I was gonna say, cause we've already got it all hooked up over here and ready to go. And then now you're gonna cut the pipe. What if it's... Oh, uh, well, we know it all fits though. I know. I'm just so, saying, what if it gets messed up? I don't think it would get We have to take up. everything apart. We're gonna take it all apart to glue it. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Not I looking know. forward to that. No. But I will mark it, make sure everything's measured up right, you know, so. The best we can. Yeah. The best we can. Do 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 do. Alright, so this goes like this. Like that. And all the way. Yeah. This might be turn some eventually, but I don't know. I won't put it in the strap yet. Do you want me to put this back on? Uh, no, let's just wait. This kid's gonna take it apart again real quick. Let me just get a measurement for this. Like, th this is fine. We didn't mess up on this at all. I wonder if we can go straight up and do an elbow. Instead of this 45, you know? Oh, probably, here, I got an elbow right here. Got a longer piece than this one. You have an elbow. Oh, I hit my funny bone and that wasn't funny. Uh-oh. You okay? Yeah. Oh, man, that hurt. Oh, good. This will work, too. Look at this. Look at this. Well, then, we'll just measure this. This drain is coming out an inch from the floor. This one's an inch and a quarter from the floor. I can make it just a little bit shorter, though, just to be sure. You know? This piece, just a little bit shorter. Then we should be good. How's our plan? I think it works pretty good. Ow, smacked my head. I know, I've been bumping my head and all kinds of stuff. So it's gonna make sure there's a slope. It looks like it's Let's slope. Do this one. I'm gonna go by the top of the thing. So that's like, what, an inch? That's at two inch. Should be a, a slope. It's like an inch and a half on the top of the pipe. Uh-huh. Right here. On the like. floor. Mm -hmm. And right here it's like two inches. There's a half an inch slope. Okay. So well. it should be fine. Yeah. Well. And that should drain right out and right in. Do you know? Yeah. Hi Shadow. Or Michonne. Hi Michonne. <coughs> hey, you got breakfast this morning. Don't even lie. Yeah. <laughs> There it is, guys. Wyatt's bathroom is plumbed. Yep. Uh, the only thing... Dry fit, anyway. Yeah, dry it's, fit. obviously it's not glued in place. But uh, we still have the vents to hook up, but now we have the lines ran for the vent. And then, obviously, the sink one's up there. But it looks good, I think. I think. I think everything's going to flow. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. I... We shall see. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the disadvantages of working underneath the house on a day like today, it's very humid out. The dogs love to loaf under the house because it's nice and cool. So they're in the way all the time. There's, they are. There's Mora and Jaina's right there. She's okay. But Mora was in the way. 
So I got smart guys and went and bought some knee pads just for this job. Because, like I said in the last video, I said, man, this is one of those things you never think about buying. And so I bought them. Yeah. And they've been saving my knees. Oh, yeah. Big time. Back underneath the house on our side. Here's the drain. Let me grab these. And my cardboard's all wet, like I said earlier, so I can't even use that that's all right so i'm gonna be doing this same kind of thing let me see here this one we might just need a 45 on it a 45 yeah let me see but well, yeah, it's not as big of a small line no. tire. Huh? It's like the main line tire over here in the middle. Do, 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 do. This. You're running that way. I don't have my pencil. <laughs> Can you twist it this way with me? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Sure. Let me pull it out my way. Alright, I'll hold this. And then I bring you back Both. Th that big piece. Both pieces, this and this. I know, that little You're middle just piece. just cutting this little piece out. Okay. Mama. Alright, so this one's, this one's the first one, right? Yeah. First one. And then, uh, and then the. Okay. This. Yeah. This thing will go over. This one's gonna need to get cut too again after the shack to the shower. Just so you know. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I wanna get this all situated <laughs> first, make sure everything's we have to add a lot more hangers to this thing too, eventually. Uh, Alright, push that in. You gotta twist it. Okay, hold up. I'm twisting and it ain't going nowhere. Twenty-two and a half. Twenty-two and a half. Yeah. Two inch. Yep. Two inch at twenty-two and a half. You know what's funny? What? Is Pretty much everything's been 22 and a half. Oh, really? Yeah, 21 and a half. All right. Let's see. It's gonna work. Sweet. All right. Nice. <clears throat> well, let's make sure it's got a slope. Two inches and a quarter. Good slope right there. Cool. So of course, we we're working on the last one, which is our shower, and it's <laughs> not the easiest one so far. No, this is gonna be the hardest one. Yeah, of course, it's the last. So Anthony and I are just I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, trying. I might need it to be longer. It's in seven and a half. How much more of that pipe you got? Um, we don't need too too much more left. There's quite a bit of it left. You want me to cut a bigger, longer piece? Well, it's got to be lower than this, but 
Where did that? I don't know. It's, it's hard to see without pipe, you know? Like, oh, I need to come down a couple more inches. You could just guess. And getting this on there like that is going to be a pain. You can't just put it like this because you need a P trap, you know? Yeah. Um, like that. Okay, so. Oh, you already got two of those, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying. Um, would it be smart to uh, cut this cut this pipe and put that in first, and then you can measure? Or do you want me to cut you a little pieces for the? Cut me some really small pieces. Cut me two of them. Kind of like how I cut for over there. Yeah, small little, and then we can gauge what the big piece would be. Because if you can. I'm, I mean, I don't see why we can't do that. No, as long as it's slowing down and it has somewhere to go, right? Yeah. Well, this was very interesting. Oh, let me move positions here. But it took some figuring out, huh, baby? We're still not 100% sure. But yeah. We gotta get more pipe. There is a slope there. It's a very minor slope, but it is a slope. It is, and the um, rule of thumb is quarter inch for every foot, right? Yep. And that's... This is a little over a foot, but as long as it gets down, I don't know how else to do it. We'll just have to put it together and test it out. Uh, see if water drains from it without clogging up. Well, we got our shower hooked up. As you guys can see, here's the P-trap, and then it goes around and back down. Uh, this one took a little bit of figuring out, but I think we were, uh, I think we got it good. We tested it out just on our shower just to make sure, because as you guys can see right here, it doesn't look like it's sloped, but it is. But we wanted to make sure that the water flows out, so we took a hose, uh, ran it through up here as you guys can see there's still water dripping from right here but and ran it and then waited <laughs> until it popped out over down there so and uh, nothing was like leaking back up in here and nothing came out of the right here I mean a little bit of water but I don't know if that was from the hose from when I was spraying or not but it worked good I think I think we did a good job on this portion well we got that stuff done like Roxanne was saying, our shower drains really well, which I'm very happy to hear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even though it's not glued, it's working. Yeah, well, happy to see. <laughs> happy to see, but um, we ran out of two inch piping. So we're kind of stuck not doing anything else the rest of the day. <laughs> Till we get to the store and get some more and then we can finish the venting inside the house and tie all that in together. And uh, we still have our kitchen sink we gotta do. Yeah, we still gotta do the kitchen sink and everything, so. Yeah. But guys, on that note, I guess it's you know, about four o'clock. We're gonna call it for today. So I guess we'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.